Hi, my name's Danielle. I'm a third year student in the History Department. Today I'll be giving you a tour of the department and a taste of what we get up to. Here in the department, every academic has a particular focus, which means there are so many amazing modules to choose from. Now we're going to speak to John Price, who really brings history to life here. His module allows students to walk around and explore the local area. So there's lots of history in the local area. What would attract students to studying it? I think for me, that was one of the benefits of being at Goldsmiths. When I, when I first came here, I suddenly realised that even just within a mile of the campus, there's all this fantastic local history. Of course, the Battle of Lewisham, which took place right here on, on Clifton Rise. National Front, far right, extremist organisation came to New Cross. People who disagreed with those right-wing views, they came here being able to bring students here to Clifton Rise, being able to bring them to the places where history was actually made, where history actually happened. It's a great benefit that we have at Goldsmiths. There is a real international feel in the department and Tara Povey is one that brings one of their specialties. So Tara, how do you approach teaching the Middle East? Well, I approach it uh, as a critical interdisciplinary social history of the Middle East. We look at sources from history, from politics, we look at ethnography, so people's accounts of everyday life in the Middle East. This year I've been running a really interesting course called the History of Resistance in the Middle East. I actually utilise a student-led curriculum. So in the first term the students and I build the curriculum together and in the second term the students get the opportunity to focus in depth on a particular group or movement that they want to study and they want to look at and they lead the lectures and actually the whole process of building the curriculum. So now we're heading into the Margaret Macmillan building to speak with Justin Bengry who convenes the MA in Queer History here. So what does the MA in Queer History add to history here at Goldsmith? It really brings in all kinds of different questions. We think about gender, sexuality, identity in different kinds of ways, but it also allows us to queer up the department a little bit and challenge the rest of the department, mm -hmm. students and staff, to think about their own historical research and historical practice. So I think it really speaks to how innovative Goldsmiths history can be and what Goldsmiths as a wider institution brings. Exhibitions aren't limited to the creative subjects here at Goldsmiths. In the Kingsway Corridor, the Windrush exhibition is taking place. Over 1,000 landing cards have been recreated using archival material. We're now going into the PSH building, where I'm going to speak to my friend Aaron about his History at Work module last year. Hi, how's Hi. it going? Yeah, not too bad yourself. So Aaron, we both did the History at Work module last year. Where did you end up? I ended up at the London Transport Museum last year. I would do research for the exhibitions. It was pretty like looking for a outside of the classroom learning experience. It was kind of a thing where you can test what you learn in the classroom outside. I would recommend it just because of the experience it was. Even if that's not what you want to do after university, it's a good experience to get. So we're in the Whitehead building now and we're going to meet Alfie, who is a friend and fellow committee member of the History Society. I think it's a really great opportunity for networking, which is not something that you usually can get uh, simply by going to lectures and yeah. studying. To all a team in society, no one has a higher role than everyone else. It's a great initiative for people to understand what they actually can do with their degree as well, because we have shown them uh, career opportunities or even volunteering opportunities that they can do. It brings history to life and it makes it relevant to today, which I think is a really important thing. One of my biggest passions is the history of medicine and we're going to meet Ronnie who specialises in that field. So I've worked mostly on Tibetan medicine okay. but more broadly on the Silk Road so I look at transmission of medical knowledge between so-called East and West. I have a real interest for the history of medicine. I myself am doing my dissertation on leprosy in the 19th century. People often don't see the social side of leprosy, they just look at how lepers were imprisoned and the treatment methods. And I think that's the beauty of history of medicine is that it brings about so many different aspects, the political, the, the yeah. social, the cultural. So we're now going to have a quick chat with Maurice Walsh, my personal tutor, who convenes the Age of News module here and also is involved with the History and Journalism programme. So you yourself were a journalist. What does being a journalist add to the course? When I was a foreign correspondent, I was very aware how you need history to think about mm -hmm. what's going on. The way history is taught here at Goldsmiths, we have very thematic subjects. We don't teach it in a very yeah. conventional, old-fashioned way where you 
go by one period after another. And from doing the course last year, I really loved it. I like the fact that you can see events through the perspective of a journalist, which doesn't often happen on a history course. Richard Grayson runs one of the most popular special subjects here, which is about Ireland and the First World War. So in terms of special subjects, where and what could students potentially study? Well, we offer a range of topics here, but pretty much the answer to that is anywhere within the University of London and almost anything you like. So what would you say is it about your course that makes it unique? I think one of the really unique things is the field trip that we run to the Western Front. And I think being there in the trenches that men were a century ago and seeing the difficulties they faced really gives you an insight into how the battle played out and one that you can't get from books or maps or just being in a seminar room. I absolutely love studying in London with a great support network from professors and students alike and a great variety of modules. Hope to see you here next September. Bye.